Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Today, we are going to take another look at a spin on a classic board game. It is Milton Bradley's Battleship, but this is the electronic Star Wars version. Now, this has been out for a while, and uh, maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, it's pretty cool for Star Wars fans. And uh, it is, uh, it's the classic Battleship game as you know it, but with a, uh, a very Star Wars twist and sound effects and things like that and multiple ways you can play. So let's take a look at Star Wars Battleship. Milton Bradley's Battleship has gone Star Wars themed and it's an electronic Star Wars game. Very cool, you'll notice there's four different games. There is a solo play option. There's a voice command that guides you through the missions. And uh, we're gonna take a look and show you what this is. Now, when you take it out of the box, it comes in its own little, little, uh, I guess, little case. I don't know what the case is, if it's something from a Star Wars movie, maybe a Star Wars geek can tell me. But um, it's very cool, the way it looks, this little stylized case. and. The case opens up into your game board, which should look pretty familiar to people who have played Battleship before, except that this has a keypad, as you can see there. We'll look at that in just a moment. And uh, little pegs where you're gonna put your ships and, and things like that. And uh, it's uh, it's got a little storage area right here, which is where you keep your pegs for when you bomb the other side and keep track of where you've hit and where you've been hit with those. Now let's take a little closer look at the keypad. The keypad has a, a number and letter system. You can also see that it has dog hair right there. So if you have dogs, yours is probably gonna look like mine. Uh, you've got cannons and missiles and proton torpedoes and things like that, that that you can shoot. And inside here, if I can open this with one hand, difficult to hold a camera and open this. Inside here is where your ships are stored. And let's take a closer look at those ships. Now you can play for the Empire and have like these Star Destroyers and cruisers and things like that. There's a Boba Fett ship, which I guess when this came out, he was a bad guy. Now he's kind of a hero, I guess, um, with the new Disney Plus series. But a lot of iconic Empire ships right there. And then if you wanna play for the Rebellion, you have those ships as well. You'll see there's a little uh, Naboo, uh, Naboo ship right there. There's a X-Wing, classic X-Wing. And then, of course, uh, you know, everybody wants to fly the Falcon. And your main ship right here is the Falcon. And even though it's a little piece, look at all the details in that Falcon. Lots of little details for a little piece. Now, I said it was voice activated and has lots of sounds. This is kind of what that sounds like. Command center activated. Input number of players. Two, player, mission selected, communication established, input, game option. And as you play the game, it has laser sounds and explosions and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So pretty cool version of Battleship for Star Wars collectors right there. There you have it. There is the Star Wars themed electronic Battleship from Milton Bradley. It is a lot of fun. The only drawback to it is there's a lot of setup a lot of prep, you kind of have to program into the, the system which version of the game you're going to play and stuff like that. But, but once you're playing, it is a lot of fun, especially for Star Wars fans. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you are at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.